Hello and welcome to Investigation Video Editor's online video tutorial. IVE is the only industry-geared editing program dedicated to surveillance video. We have made it easy to line up and edit footage obtained at the same time from multiple cameras, even if the dates and times are mismatched. By skimming through footage faster than real time, IVE allows you to find and delete unwanted clips and splice out any unusable video quickly and easily. So let's get started. Adding files with IVE is extremely easy. We already have a default camera set up and we labeled it camera one, but you can change it to any name you'd like. You can add individual files or an entire folder. If you have many files, I would suggest using the folder and you can delete out any unusable footage at a later time. You could also go back in and add individual files to that camera. It's extremely important while it's processing not to start to make any changes until upload is complete. But we can go ahead and add more files to a new folder. Again, you can change this name. I'll upload individual files here because I don't want number 31 to 35. So I just hit my control button and I individually click any files that I would like to upload. You can see they're all uploading here right now. Once they are all processed, we just click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and save our project because we have a lot of files that we just uploaded and I don't want to lose any of our work and have to start all over again. IVE is specifically designed to go through every second of video, deleting unwanted clips and cutting out blurry or shaky video. Before we start editing our clips, we want to make sure they're in chronological order. If they are not, then we need to adjust our time code. If you see here, our clips are not in order. The vehicle should be arriving before the subject enters the building, which means that camera one was behind on its time code and camera two is the correct time. I can fix this by syncing the two camera folders. For complete detailed instructions on how to adjust time codes, please view our other online tutorials. Now that I'm happy with the layout, I can start editing. If you see here, there are two skim bars. The top one shows you the current clip's duration. And the bottom one shows you the duration of the whole entire project. You can also play the video in real time. Or even up to eight times the video speed for a quick view. We also have shortcut keys that allow you to play, pause, go through footage second by second, or go back through footage second by second. I can play or pause the project at any time using the D key. And if I hit the F key on my keyboard, the video goes forward frame by frame. And this is extremely handy when you need to split the video at an exact moment. If I hit the S key, I get the same result, but only in reverse. When I find the clip that needs to be split, I can hit the A key, and it splits it at the time I have selected. You can see here the time on the top skim bar. I can then go ahead and delete the unwanted clip. I do this for all the videos that need editing. Now I want to edit out any blurry portions that I do not want in my final video. I am also editing out any motions where the camera panned away from the subject because that's not needed either.
I also need to delete one of the files that had the wrong subject coming out of the building. Once I am confident with my video, I can go ahead and change where I would like to place the date and timestamp on the video itself. I just click on the timestamp placement, and from here, I can make any adjustments that I want. I can change the position. I can change the font and the color. I can also choose whether I want to show the date only, or if I want to show the time only. Once I am happy, I can click Apply, and it has changed. I can click Save IVE Settings to apply changes to all future videos. I can also control when I want a timestamp to show on a certain folder. If I do not want to show it on camera one folder, I just simply uncheck the TS radio button. And you can see that any files in this folder will no longer show the timestamp, but will appear on all folders that have the TS checked. We have also added the option for you to be able to upload your own header and footer. So for example, if I wanted to use our animated video at the beginning and ending of our video, I would just click header and locate my file. You'll note that the header and footer do not have a timestamp on them. If you want to remove the header and footer, you can do so just by clicking header again and just delete them. We are now ready to export our video. Click export project and it will give you a warning. If you do not need some of the video with a timestamp, you can click no and go and fix your timestamp by clicking on the folder that holds the video that does not need the timestamp. If you are good with the timestamps, you can go ahead and click yes. From here, you save your video. If you wanna change the folder, you can click browse and then you can save it to wherever you would like to. You can also change the name and you can also choose the preset video quality and output format as well. By default, audio is not exported with the video. Once your video is done exporting, you can view it. Just click play. And that's all it takes to create your investigation video with Investigation Video Editor. Very quick and very easy.